This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com, and welcome back to another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a cinematic text reveal inside of Adobe After Effects. So, let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel okay so first create a new composition let's call it main and I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29 by 97 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok okay let's create a text there so right click new then click on text and I'm using end all font you can download this font from link in the description box below okay so let's type your text here I type in cinematic Now make it little bit bigger. Now make it center. Now select this layer, then right click, then choose pre-compose. Then select mobile attributes and rename it to text. Then click on OK. Then right click, then go to layer style, then click on bevel and emboss. Then go to bevel and emboss, then size set it 15 and shadow opacity set it 100% then select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose and then select mobile attributes and rename it to bevel then click on ok then turn off visibility of this layer now go now import our project files you can download these project files from link in the description box below and it's free now select this reflection map then place it into this timeline then make it a little bit smaller something like that then go to effect and preset window and search for motion tile then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer then click on mirror edges and increase the output width then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on title center then go to end of this animation then increase the x amount a little bit perfect now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to reflection map now go to project window and then select our text comp then simply place it into this timeline then simply select this reflection map layer then change the layer mode to alpha mat design better projects faster with inverto elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind Inverter elements will make any projects better while saving your time efforts and money Get unlimited downloads with Inverto Elements and start creating today. Okay, now go to Effect and Preset window and search for CC Glass. Then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now go to Surface, then Bump Map set it our bevel layer. And Property set it Luminance, Softness set it 2, uh, Height set it uh, maybe 15, and Displacement set it 86. Now again go to effect and preset window and search for CC blobby lies. Then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to blobness and blob layer set it our bevel and property set it alpha and softness set it uh, maybe 5 and cut away set it 0. Perfect. Looks good to me. Again go to po project window and select our text comp then place it into this timeline then go to effect and preset window and search for 
find edges then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer then click on invert then press t on your keyboard and opacity set it 20 percent and um, layer mode set it uh, maybe screen perfect now again go to project window and select text comp then place it into this timeline then right click then go to layer style then click on gradient overlay then click on gradient overlay then click on edit gradient then change the color to something like this Now click on OK. Then blend mode set it multiple, and then layer mode set it uh, maybe uh, soft light. Then press T on your keyboard. Then opacity set it uh, fifty percent. Looks good to me. Now select all layers. Then make it three D by clicking here. Now create a null object, so right click new, then click on null object, make it 3D as well, then select all text layer, then paint it to null 1, then go to beginning of this animation, then select this null object, then press P on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on position, then decrease the Z amount a little bit, now go to around 3 seconds, then increase the Z amount. Then go to end of this animation, then increase the Z amount a little bit. Now select all keyframes, then press F9 to make them easy ease. Now open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Okay, now import our background so select this background and place it into this timeline then create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for curves then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer then change the RGB curves to something like this Then again go to effect and preset you will search for unsharpened marks then apply onto this layer and amount set it hundred okay now create a new black solid layer so right click new then click on solid then click on ok now go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this marks bar then hold down alt control then drag now click on invert now again create a new solid layer so right click new then click on solid make it black then click on ok now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool and create a circle around here then increase the marks feather then click on invert Now go to beginning of this animation, then set a keyframe on marks path, then go to around 3 seconds and then change the marks path position to something like this. Perfect. Now go to around um, 6 seconds. Then select the second keyframe, then press Ctrl plus C, then press Ctrl plus V, 
then go to around 9 seconds then select this first keyframe then press ctrl plus c then press ctrl plus v okay now select all keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease our animation is complete press 0 to run preview this Thank you very much for watching this tutorial have a great day and i will see you in the next video till then peace out